I just want to make this one really, really quick. Um, I don't want to go too much into it. I just want to point some things out that I'm looking at and like seeing. I was looking at it mobile. Um, this is not me making an attempt to say this is um, a short, a long. This is just me basically keeping it short and sweet. Play the price as long as it stays within these range inside of these this blue trend, the upper trend line and the lower trend line. Um, simply keep it simple. Um, but I also noticed something. I did a, an extension with these lines. And what's crazy is, this is why I love FIBS, is because FIBS work very, very precise to price. And sometimes they line up, sometimes they don't. Some people try to make it line up to be perfect, but that's not the, what they're made for. But I'm gonna show you guys something. I drew from these low of 663 for ES, right? I brought it up to the top of, I think the 2011 high, which was around um, 1363.75, right? 1363.75. Well, let's just say whatever this is right here, where the high here was 1373.50, sorry. Okay. Okay. We'll just say that there. And I put, oops, remove. Sorry. This is going to be quick. So I take my fib extensions. My coefficients are different from everybody else's. Mine's are basically custom um, to fit my needs of trading. Um, I don't use basics. My coefficients are actually just what works for me. Um, so 1373.50, right? High of 2011. I put it down to somewhat of a double bottom of the lower of 2011, which is about 1068.50. And if you look at every single line here, <laughs> I will annotate to make it short and sweet. Um, even though it lines up with the trend here, this trend starts here. Um, the trend extended has never hit the top of this trend line here until we got into 2017, 2018, right? To where we faded off. We've bounced off of our purple fib, which is a very important indicator when I'm trading intraday or I'm trading daily, weekly, and monthly charts. We bounced off of that level. And um, after we did, we did so, we came in contact with 22.19.50, which was another key level. And after we got through that key level, we extended pretty high from one extension, which is this level to 22.19.43 or to 22.19.50 to 23.75, 290.30.75. So we came close to it here. We came back down, bounced off the 14 SMA, and then we triggered at 290.30.74. Uh, this is a long, a long-term fib extension. I'm using the lows of 2009 um, to the peak of 2011 to the low of 2011 as well. Those are my three points. And when I line them up, this is what I got. This is the outcome. Um, a major trigger is going to be this break above here. And once we break above here, my thoughts is that we're going to basically come up, down, up, down, and basically end back in here possibly finding 290, 30, 75 as a new bottom or within trend line. And we'll be basically bouncing around. This is just my thoughts. Um, everybody's calling crash. Everybody's calling extend, extending. But to be honest, if people look at price and look at every single thing, you'll see that the price has just been, it's been a bull market, no matter how you put it, since 2009. Simple as that. Just, just corrections, you know. Some corrections last longer than others, some two years, three years, um, but we are pretty extended. Um, 4,000, 4,080, is the next level. That's in 2025. If this bull trend, if this bull trend continues, that's in 2025. If there's like any contracts to buy out that far, that would be awesome. You know, um, I do a fib extension within that fib combo, right? And um, I'm gonna actually move my levels to here because this basically lines up with more recent as of 2018. 2018 is where we had our 
slight pullback or correction, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll bring it away down here just so that it lines up with current levels. You'll just see how it works out and how everything pans out, where it bounces at, get a fill. My, Fib my Fibonacci retracements coefficients line up with my Fibonacci extension coefficients. Those that trade Fibs, I don't know if people try it, but I like to trade extent Fib retracements inside extensions. It works. I've been successful with it. I love it. So as you can see, the next level is thirty um three thousand sixty six seventy five. You have to round um an ES. You round out to the nearest quarter. It trades in twenty five cent increments. So our next level is three thousand sixty six seventy five. Above that, thirty two hundred. Three thousand two hundred and one, or three thousand two hundred and two. But um. This month alone, I mean, our past month, we had a huge range. I, I, I trade off ranges too, monthly and weekly. We had a 240 point range last month. This month closes Wednesday. Wednesday is also, I think, um, Fed speaks or whatever, big day for the markets. And we're only currently in a 74 point range. Keep that in mind, right? So we're definitely looking like we're going to have another 40-point range higher. This is my thoughts because we are trading above 29.30. I look at that holds a base. And we'll probably come back maybe one time to 26.61, um, which is over here. This level has found some, some support around here as well. So keep these levels in mind here going forward. Um, plays off into this trend. This this basically plays off into this trend right here, trend break here. So let's see what happens. When we, if we get over it, we'll get that bounce. Come in, come down, bounce here, come up. And we're back in the trend again. And the trend just basically stays, comes down, stays. This is just, these are just my thoughts. I'm not, it's not saying I'm going long, but as price stays in, within this trend, it's, it's forever a bull trend. We break out of this trend, it is a bear trend. The bear trend is below here. So all the noise of bears for years, this trend line breaks, then you panic. Actually, you don't even panic. You take the short end. You start taking small lottos going short. But once this trend breaks, then you can call bull, um, you can call bear or bull trap, whatever, you know but it's currently in a bull trend so keep that in mind all right have a good night and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow